wants to try and make some sort of pumpkin coffee concoction drink with me because that's what I want right now. All right, the concoction, hot water, instant coffee, pumpkin pie, spice, something, the pumpkin stuff I made the other day, some chai, some vanilla soy milk. We're going to mix together something fantastic. My nail broke, yes, and pray for me that it tastes good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. My past barista skills coming back. Something I love about that skill is I can put together a coffee drink or even alcohol drinks. I could probably be a great bartender because of all my past barista training. Cheers. 6.30 in the morning and I'm just getting around to filming. All right, there's that fashion video done. They take so long to film. I just wanted to show you guys what, usually after I film a fashion video for you guys, what my room looks like. Look at this pile of clothes. And then I'll be like, oh, I don't want to hang it back up. God dang it. That is always, like before I had everything laid out, <laughs> now I have everything stacked because I need to put it back from filming this fashion video. <laughs> you guys, I'm an adult. I actually just hung up all those clothes so they're not sitting on the end of my bed. <laughs> what? I'm a real adult now. Shall I show you a tour of some of the fall decor? As I said in my previous vlog, my mom and I don't skip right to Christmas. We like fall. So we transitioned our Halloween decor into autumn and fall decor. And then probably after Thanksgiving is when we will start the Christmas madness. So thought I would share some of the fall prettiness. All right, so here is the fireplace mantle. Isn't this bow cute? That's cute. Little ornaments hanging from it. Up top, we have a little autumn village if you will, with pretty lights, because I like pretty lights. Down here at the base of the fireplace, we have these different candles I'll insert. I just filmed with these candles on, so I'll insert so you guys can see how pretty it is in front of the fireplace. Ambiance. We have these super cute, shiny little pumpkins that I love. I love these shiny ones so much. And there's these turquoise ones too. This beautiful autumn goddess. I love her so much. Over here we have these little cornucopia of fall goodness. These cute little white pumpkins that flicker flicker. More little fall pumpkin people. Different decor. Another cornucopia up here. And the flickering uh, like firelight that are super cute. And a gargoyle, don't mind that. These lamps, you, you can fill them with whatever you see fit. So that we switch that out, depending on the season and or holiday. You guys have probably seen me do like Christmas stuff in those before. And then up, there's some more flickering lights with some festive leaves. Autumnness. More flicker, flicker lights. And this goes over to the other end table here that has the same type of lamp, pumpkin, autumn, all those jazz. This is the coffee table here. Pretty lights, pumpkins, leaves, autumn vibes, you know, that type of thing. 
couple more of those shiny pumpkins that I love so much. Fall. Just in case you didn't know what season it was, I have a sign to remind you. I love these turquoise colored pumpkins. And move to the hutch. Where we got some pumpkins, some little DIY things, things of that nature. More pumpkins. He's cute, right? And I also happen to think that she's adorable. More of this like turquoise color that's so pretty. And a couple things in the hallway. Morning pumpkin. It's cute. The mood. Did you need to come and sit on my foot? Hey you. Hello. What are you doing? Give me my toes warm. Since he did a lot of filming in this room, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Oh, where's she going? Go get her. Where's she going? You guys, it's the time of the season where we broke out the gloves and the scarves and the um, jacket. Probably because earlier when we went out, like it was really, really cold. So then we came prepared. But it's colder tonight. It's been dropping down to the cooler weather. Then she got she got mittens on. Put your hand over here. She got mittens. What is that? She got mittens. I got the fingerless ones that actually match my nails right now. Friendly reminder that if you don't have to worry about health coverage in your country, never take it for granted because a lot of us here in the States just <laughs> aren't allowed like just basic things to live. So <laughs> I'm gonna go make some dinner and try and watch something to distract my mind right now so I don't have a full-on um, sob fest with some of the information that I just was given and wasn't given and the lack of information that I get to have and all that fun stuff. Yeah. Great night. Just sit here and watch scary movies to make my sadness anxiety go away this is not the worst this is my favorite christmas donkey Hello my beauties, it is uh, Friday morning, um, I don't think I vlogged either the last couple days or at least just yesterday, I have no idea what I've been up to, um, I watched things on Netflix, uh, Dash and Lily, super cute if you're looking for something holiday, also Holla Date with Emma Roberts is also really cute, so I would recommend those if you're feeling festive, what else has been going on? Nothing. I feel like I have like six million things to do before like Thanksgiving and Christmas and everything with like things around my house that I wanted to get done and then like video stuff and then like work stuff. I feel like there's just like a lot of things I need to be doing and then there's like outside stressors and everything like that. So also while I'm sitting here, um, you may have seen in the last couple of vlogs that my uh, eczema has been attacking my face again, probably just the time of the year, but it's pretty painful and it's not fun. Don't recommend it. <laughs> but I've been using a new product that my mom actually got me as like a gift a while ago and I was like, okay, let's try it for my face, right? And I've really been liking it and I'm going to go to the store probably and see about other products from this brand because it's made such a huge difference in my life lately. So it's by Shea Moisture, established in 1912. This is the Skin Rescue Toner, Cannabis Stevia Hemp Seed Oil and Witch Hazel with Vitamin E. Okay, so this stuff I have been spraying on my face after I wash my face, after I do a shower, throughout the day if it starts to get really painful and blotchy or just painful is the big thing and this stuff immediately not only soothes my skin and takes the pain away it does like a moisturized barrier for my skin my skin will turn really red 
because of the sensitive areas, which whatever, I'm around my house. I don't care. So my face will be a little red, but it feels so moisturizing. And then I can put like a moisturizing or a lotion over top it if I need to, and then makeup or just the spray itself. Like after a shower, as I said, it's been working so well for me. And I really want to see if there's other products from them. Um, I think she just got this at like Walgreens or something, but I looked up the company on their website and they have a lot of different products for specialized skin stuff so if i can get some stuff that is not gonna break the bank and make the pain go away smooth out my skin and headed into these colder months i'm gonna do it so that's my first product from them and i'm gonna try some other ones fingers crossed it continues to help me because it's not fun being a scaly painful mermaid when you wake up every morning you wish you were as cool as me Right, guys. Shipping things to different countries is just like so much paperwork, I feel like. But it needs to be done. Oh no, it's Christmas. Vlog my sneak peek. I think it's not on it's not Look how pretty it is. Right. And then it's Well, ones they can change on their own are all cool. That one's cool too. See, isn't it pretty? Or the blue one? Yeah, yeah. that's it cool. Just, they're so pretty. Not for that much money, they're not. I know. Funny story for you guys. I am vlogging, don't mind me. I was looking at some vlogmas from last year and my mom and I were like out and about shopping for Christmas and we didn't have masks on and it looked weird. Isn't that sad? The sad state. <laughs> so I had to run to Home Depot to get some stuff for construction in the house, getting more stuff done. I am socially distant and my hair just fell. Fuck. Squirrel. Look at the squirrel that gives zero fucks on top of my roof. Like a little like big like statue gargoyle. A squirrel gargoyle. You're not listening to me. No, I'm vlogging. Hey Nick, if you happen to watch this, thank you for the coffee. Thank you. Peppermint white mocha. It's different out in the cool breeze. Does anybody else put off going to the doctor's office, okay? I mean, I'm kind of bad at that in a normal year, but during this COVID time, I have not wanted to go to the doctor because the idea of going to a doctor's office or a medical clinic of any kind during virus time just kind of freaks me the fuck out. So I've been putting it off, but I need to go and I need to have my normal annual tests done, my blood tested and everything to make sure my body's working correctly, to make sure that my meds are keeping me alive, you know, things like that that are kind of important. So finally today I'm like, okay, I'm going to call and make a doctor's appointment. So I call and of course the day that I choose to do it, it is Saturday and uh, they're not open to uh, take appointments unless it is an absolute dire emergency and they have some special slots for Saturday appointments, but I don't need an appointment today, just, you know, soon, and my doctor wouldn't be working today because it's a different clinic, and I'm just like, of course, the day that I finally choose to call, I have to wait till Monday. 